because you can see through the lens, and it's starting to collect on the roadways, making it white. Almost looks like snow is collecting, but it is the freezing fog hitting the roadways. The roadways are very icy. They're, the de-icers are out in Yakima trying to make the roads a little bit safer, but cars are having a rough time. Driving can treacherous today off I-82. A semi-truck was carrying this mobile home and all of a sudden it blew off. Strong gusts can blow tumbleweed, making it very difficult for drivers. It's official. We do have <laughs> ice cream in here, but just for the sake of competition, I'm going to bowl one time, swing it down there. Adam's going to grab it and we're going to get some ice cream. We're going to show that right now. <laughs> all right, Adam, here we go. Let the games begin yeah, for Olympic gold. Oh, it's a strike. Oh. Oh. That's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Honestly, that was the greatest thing I've ever done on television. <laughs> well, if you're planning on traveling in Washington Street and Kennewick the next couple of days, you may want to reconsider your plans. As you can see behind me, construction workers are prepping the roads for what they will start tomorrow as a three-day-long repaving project on Washington Street in between Columbia Drive and 10th Avenue. Good morning. Well, we're down here at Sun Bagels. If you want to come down and listen to some live music this morning, come on down. We're on Washington Street. And I got the lights out to Carlos Luna. You do not want to miss this man play. Coming up in Action Cam in Northwest today. Lucas Mack has some students in Kennewick this morning. Good morning, Lucas. Hi, good morning. I've been looking for the pot of gold, but I can't find any. Just kidding. <laughs> That's my best Irish accent. I'm going to get out of the way and let them show you their dance moves. This is the cover for Irish dancers. Uh, what are you basically seeing outside? Have there been a lot of cars that have been sliding and slipping? Uh, there has been on the side streets, actually. Layers of ice like this are just covering the side streets down here at 7th Avenue in, in Kennewick. Please be very careful. Now, the main streets down here on 395 seem to be okay. They're a little clearer. The sand trucks have been out laying sand on the ground. And this is what you need to be careful for this morning as you're going to work. We'll be back with more on Northwest Today. Lucas, where are you at and what's going on? I'm down here by 395 in the story this morning, slick roadways and cold temperatures. And I'll find out what that means for you coming up on Action Cam in Northwest today. Beautiful morning. I'm down at the Columbia River and its temperatures are rising. People are coming out to swim. And I have some tips from the Red Cross on how to keep you safe this summer. Good morning. That's right. I'm standing on George Washington Way in Richland. And as oil prices have increased, it's not only affected what you're driving, but what you're driving on. We're going to talk about high increases in asphalt prices coming up on Northwest today. Good morning, everyone. Well, the fire level dangers are high today, and you can see why. Look at this, and you can hear this crackle. It's so dry. Fire can spread very quickly. Look, with Lucas Mack. Oh, boy. Lucas is getting bronze here early this morning. <laughs> Lucas, nice glasses. Stay with us, folks. We'll, folks, we'll check back in with Lucas if he can talk to us a little bit after this. Well, I'm getting a good stretch in. Happy Friday, everybody. I have the perfect thing for you. If you have a child and a stroller, we're going to find out what you can do with both of those to get a good workout here on Action Cam on Northwest Today. Good morning. That's right. I'm down here at Hanford High School. I have the cheer squad behind me, and they've just made me a fan. And we'll be back on Action Cam on Northwest Today. Action Cam Lucas Mack is all about Oh, no. Place. Oh, my goodness. Lucas, don't do it to the girls. Lucas. <laughs> Victory for Lucas. Wow, folks, stay with us. We're going to check back in with the new cheerleader, Lucas Matt, in just a few minutes. And one quick note, Christian, you are kind of a local, local man here. Uh, where are you from? From Woodenville. Awesome. So this is kind of you know, hometown in a way. When you're in Torino, you consider Yakima maybe close to hometown. Absolutely. Well, Washington. We're all I love that. Right? And Americans. And Americans, and Americans that's, right. that's right. Go USA. I love it. All right, we're going back to you. We're having a great time. We're keeping the Olympic theme going this week. We are bowling with this this bowling ball that makes ice cream. You do not want to miss this. <laughs> you saw how he bowled. It's beautiful. We're going to make some ice cream coming up. We'll be back in Northwest today. It's a lot of fun, Jay. I'm pushing for bowling to be an Olympic sport, though. You know, I'm pushing for all these, you know, golfing, bowling, but especially bowling with ice cream. You bet. Now, Adam Koval, the manager of REI, is joining me. And Adam, how do we make this ice cream here? Well, basically what we have is we have a, a Lexan ball. It's a hardened plastic that's here. Uh, there's a metal cylinder in the interior there that we're going to put our ingredients in. The first thing we do is we fill it all up with ice, which I've already Martha Stewarted this, so we're, we're very prepared ahead of time. You are very Martha Stewart-like. Yeah, you know. Like you that's all right. Good, good. We're going to add eight ounces worth of rock salt here in the back end as well. Okay. Mix it around inside of there, and that's going to react with the ice to make it extremely cold in the inside. Okay. We take the lid. We screw the lid on. Maybe. We want to make sure we get it on there good and tight, so we've got a little wrench that goes with it right here. Oh, very nice. Oop, like that. 
We turn it over on the other side then, we put the ingredients in. Your basic ingredients here are going to be cream, or half and half in this case. We have rare and exotic imported now, I saw vanilla. Some, I went and bought these ingredients this morning. <laughs> I saw some fat-free half and half. I don't even know if that's natural. So I went with the actual old-fashioned. You went with the real stuff, huh? All half right. Half well, good, good. I've been going to coincide right with my diet here. <laughs> well, that is all on, depending on this man. He is going to bowl right now. Adam, we're going to move this table out of the way. The pins are down the, down the way. So we're going to get this table out of the way here, and the bowling shall begin. All right. The fun, <laughs> the excitement, only here on Action Cam. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to find this on any other station <laughs> in town, only on Kane to you. Adam, go ahead and take it away. All right, it's my warm up. Good bowling show. It's my hit this time. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That was nice. <laughs> that was nice. Adam, we're going to work on your uh, follow through there, but that was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay, Drew, going back to you. Good morning, Jay. I'm doing great. Cindy McNighter, the golf pro here at Apple Tree Golf Course in Yakima, is teaching me how to chip. We're having a chipping competition in honor of Olympic Weeks for Action Camp. Here you go, right here, live on television. I need work. All right, we'll be back on Action Camp on Northwest today. Now, Cindy has been teaching me some tips here because obviously as you could tell my swing it's hurting it's broke you know Lucas, and I need are those, some help are those windows it. are those windows glass in the background Lucas those are glass but you know these are soft little spongy balls so there's no problem I'm not going to break <laughs> anything now Cindy and I are going to have a competition here later in the hour you don't want to miss that but before we even get to that point Cindy I need some help how, how do I fix my chip swing here. Well, the first thing you have to do to get the ball up in the air is brush that grass. Okay. You've got to brush the grass. So keep my eye on the ball. you, you got some white knuckles going here, so relax your hands I'm a nervous. little on the, Okay. <laughs> and then just swing it away. Just let her rip, okay? Oh, right. Right through there. Jay, what'd you think? That wasn't bad, Lucas. What are you aiming for there? Is there a target there? We can't quite see. I have no idea. I'm just happy I hit the ball there. <laughs> I'm just hanging out on the edge of the rink. You know, I'm pushing for golf to become an Olympic sport, but this morning I have future, hopefully future Olympians. That's their goal. And we're going to talk to them. It's really neat. Coming up here on Northwest Today. All right. Thanks very much, Harry. We're looking outside now at Toyota Center. Oop, Lucas is on those <laughs> skates. He's looking good. He's with Michaela Browley, who earlier was going to do a sow cow, and we just missed it on camera. Looking good, AJ. <laughs> well, she's helping him out there. Luke's got his training wheels on. There she goes. Don't leave him. <laughs> Kyla, come back. Oh, boy. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow. See if he survives. Uh, this next song I'm going to play, I wrote uh, about five years ago. It's called Your Love, and it goes out to everyone that's watching me right now. <laughs> Black Friday has definitely turned into a wet Friday here, and the parking lot is packed, Walmart is packed, as people are just frantically trying to get the gifts that they want. Now, I spoke to some people, setting up here last night was quite the team effort. There's a whole bunch of employees here at Walmart, you could say almost an army of employees. Good morning, Jamie. These two are the brave warriors that actually fared the uh, Walmart this morning. What is your name? Trish. And what is your name? Tanya. Okay, and what was the hot item that you were trying to get this morning? We are actually trying to get the Game Boy. The Game Boy. Yep. Game Boy. Did it work out? Did you get it? No. <laughs> it was already sold out? Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. People were buying like 13, 13 of them. 13 at, at a time. time. So they only have. Do you think that's fair? No. No, that's not fair. <laughs> you know, some, some stores are limiting purchases to certain items. Maybe they should have done that for you. Well, it is your birthday. Happy birthday on this Black Friday, wet, cold Friday morning. But I'm proud of you for showing up this morning. Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Jamie J, we'll go back to you. Good morning. Now, when I did that, my legs almost separated. I said, girls, don't teach me the splits as well. That was enough stunning for one day. But, uh, girls, you had something to say to the people watching. Yeah, our first home football game is tonight at 7.30. Um, you guys should come, all come out for the kickoff. Okay, and uh, what about you? You had something to say? Come to the pep dance right after in the Erie Gym here at Hanford. Now, is there a theme for tonight's game? No, it's just a pep dance, just to have fun. Do people need to be excited for tonight's game? Yes, they need to be pumped up and ready to go. Girls, what would you say? Can you pump, can you pump the people up watching right now? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so they're encouraging you to come on down to Hanford High School's football game tonight. It starts at 730? Yep. yep. All right, well, well, hopefully we'll be there as well. And we will be right back on Northwest Today.